welcome to the mail tv channel this is sai and today you're gonna learn about azure devops and it's a beginner tutorial so we will cover step by step so in this uh, let's understand what are the azure devops core components so if you look at here so we have azure boards right? we have azure repositories we have azure pipelines we have test plans we have artifacts right so these are the uh, you know few very core components like you know we'll be using across devops okay now what exactly the azure uh, the azure boards will do so it will say it will give you like you know you can plan your Azure DevOps project and you can track to understand you know what is the how much percentage it got completed pending successful depending upon the number of tasks okay and the Azure repositories is nothing but where you will be hosting your kind of a Git repositories, you know, where you will be doing all the uh, code pull, push, and all that. This and the third one is about the pipelines, the Azure pipelines, where you know you will connect your code deployments to cloud environments to any other tools for integration okay and for the especially for the um, deployment and the test plans is about because you, because this is a code based uh, uh, the environment so you need to test kind of a you know regression testing performance testing yes using various tools only and the azure artifacts is nothing but where you will create your packages yeah it can be java it can be .NET or it can be another language packages like, um, uh, for example, because dependencies also and all that. Okay, so this is about the the introducing Azure DevOps. Okay, now now quickly let's see how exactly this looks in the Azure DevOps portal. Okay, now if I go to here, I would like to open a new um, DevOps Let's see this, okay. asking for me to sign into the uh, visual studio
Okay, now I've already logged on to the um, one of the project. So this is how you're gonna you're gonna see, look at the uh, the overview. As soon as you log in, so you'll see this um, this DevOps um, symbol here. Okay, and your account is here. I need to change my color so that don't want to use don't want to use yellow so this is how it's going to show like you know your overview your dashboards and your uh, we're talking about this one right this dashboards the repositories pipelines test plans artifacts okay so if I go ahead and click on this dashboards, right? See, if you look at, click on the dashboards, now you can see the work items, boards. So this is going to be the overview, the boards, under boards, you have work, work items, backlogs, prints, queries, all that. Okay, let me... So you can see that the backlogs, right? How many sprints? Because normally each sprints will be like two weeks. Backlogs is nothing but your tasks. The delivery plans is like, you know, what exactly you will be delivering, uh, deliver uh, outcomes. Okay. So this is about it and if you go to the uh, repos on the repos you can see what are the files you're going to have how many commits you're going to do how many pushes the branches the tags the pull requests so files nothing but it can be your uh, code you know yaml files it can be any scripts all those things And the pipelines, like, you know, we're talking about how many environments you're trying to build using this pipelines. So normally it can be your uh, uh, dev, it can be your QA, it can be your, uh, uh, you know, prod. Okay. And how many releases you're gonna, you're planning, like it's gonna be a weekly, or a monthly but it, okay and this library is nothing but where you're gonna you know keep all your uh, uh, information now the deployment groups the same thing deployments groups is actually go here so dev deployment group or QA or the prod okay now about the test plans So the testing plan is nothing but, as I said, so we will be using a tools, integration for sure, where we will discuss, for I said, you know, uh, performance, regression testing, and all those things. And you can also check the, how many tests are, success was, failed and how many runs uh, you know you can have a weekly or as soon as someone uh, a code is updated all those things okay and if you look at the artifacts currently I mean we don't have any artifacts for sure but you can go ahead and create the artifacts here so this is where you will store all your uh, you know, a code, a template, especially um, deployment templates and all that. Okay. So this is about under the uh, um, uh, Azure DevOps part. Okay. Now, let's quickly go back here. So that is what, because now you understood what we learned, right? 
So we, we learned you saw under the Azure dashboards there, Azure repos, Azure pipelines, Azure test plans, right? And Azure artifacts. Now let's quickly understand if you want to deploy a code using all these features, how you'll do it. So this is a, a simple basic example for anyone who wants to start. This is a, a very basic uh, DevOps deployment. Okay, guys. So if you look at here, so there is, we have a developer, okay. And who is like, uh, you can call it a build or a, a, a develop, you're gonna do a code. What it will do, what he will do is, he will, once he finished writing, you can see that he's, he's doing a, a code check-in. Remember that, so this is called a code check-in to Azure repositories. So you need to understand the Azure repository will manage the code okay and now each you understand we have a branching so you will be having a different branching like you can see here that we have a, a development branch you have a uat branch you have a master branch okay so this is what it is and every time a, a developer develops so it's kind of feature wise as we saw like you know, under the dashboards so every feature uh, will be, you know, uh, the developer wants to develop the code check-in, it goes to the development, then UAT, then master, okay? And once that's done, that, that will be pushed to the artifacts. We saw an artifacts, right? So this is using a, a pipeline. So this is how it goes, okay? And there will be an approval for sure because each and every uh, build that is developed should be approved by the lead or your manager. Okay. So that is how it's going to be. And we'll talk about this uh, key vault separately for you guys. Okay, I'll park it separate. So once this is approved, so there will be a build pipeline released and the the code will be deployed to the whatever the service it any any cloud service so this is the whole process okay So you clearly understood like how exactly this Azure dashboards, repositories, pipeline, test plan, and artifacts will be used in this example. Okay. Now let's quickly go to the um, one second. So here I forgot to tell you something. So if you look at you know the the testing, there is there is no testing here in this right. There is no testing included. Okay, so I will cover the testing, uh, uh, how exactly the testing plans we will include in this whole procedure in my next video. Okay, now 